Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Monday of prayer together. I'm so excited you guys get to join and we get to come together as a family and just pray together. Have you ever had the Lord totally shift something you thought you were going to do? So this morning I thought I was going to give a certain devotional thought and God had other ideas. And I have learned over the years to listen to that voice of the Holy Spirit. So this morning I want to talk about a Rubicon moment. And, uh, and I'll explain that in just a minute. But yesterday, my wife, Stephanie, gave an incredible message on being commissioned. She talked about how Jesus in the garden was commissioned to the cross and how he accepted his commissioning. And then in a moment at the end of service, she gave everyone an opportunity to accept their commissioning, whatever the Lord might be calling them to do. But I recognize that sometimes commitments made on Sunday can wane on Monday. So this morning, uh, I just want to encourage you that if you made a commitment yesterday, don't forget it today. Redouble your efforts and your commitment and your prayer to the Lord to make sure you follow through on that. And that's really what I want to talk to you about today, a Rubicon moment. And Rubicon is actually a river. Uh, when Caesar was kicked out of Rome, there were two factions. Uh, there were two sides of, of uh, a, an argument or an issue. One side of the Senate wanted Caesar to be in full control, and the other side didn't. Caesar had escaped to Ravenna, north of Italy, and was hiding out there. He later found out that his allies in the Senate were kicked out. And so he met with them, and he gathered his soldiers, and he traveled south toward Rome. He came to a small river called the Rubicon. And when he got to the Rubicon, he looked at his soldiers, he looked at his troops, and he said, as of right now, we can still retreat. We can still turn around and go back. But as soon as we cross the Rubicon, there's no turning back. We will have to bear arms. Because it was known that if ever there was an army that crossed the Rubicon, they would be attacked. And so they did that. They crossed the Rubicon. And Rubicon, literally, if you look it up in the dictionary, means a point in which once crossed, there's no point of return. Jesus had a Rubicon moment. When he triumphantly came into Jerusalem on a donkey, there were all kinds of messianic indicators around what he was doing. He was essentially saying to all the powers that be, all the religious leaders, to Rome itself, I am the Messiah. And what you may not know is while Jesus was coming in on the gate called Beautiful, there was another procession on the other side of Jerusalem led by Pilate. And that procession was full of Roman soldiers. They were coming to keep the peace in Jerusalem. Jerusalem swelled during Passover from 50,000 to some would say up to a million people. And so Rome always sent a delegation to keep the peace. On one side, you have Jesus coming in humbly on a donkey. And on the other side, you have Pilate coming in representing power, wealth, land, prestige. Two opposite processions. And the same is true for all of us. We have two ways that we can follow. We can follow the world's way and enter into that procession or we can follow the way of our Lord Jesus, our Savior. That moment for Jesus was a Rubicon moment because the crowd that so cheered for him on Sunday cried crucify him on Friday. He knew that by what he was doing, he was setting in motion the cross. It was his Rubicon moment. There was no turning back. Each of us have moments in our lives that are Rubicon moments where we say, this is a point of no return. I'm never turning back. I remember bowing my knee in my parents' orchard and committing myself to following the way of Jesus in ministry. For me, that was a Rubicon moment. There was no turning back. And the road has not been easy. It's been difficult, but I don't regret it. I don't regret following the procession of Jesus. So I want to encourage you today. Yesterday there were commitments made, and if you didn't get to uh, hear Stephanie's talk, 
I encourage you to go on our app or website or check out our Christ Center Facebook page and listen to our message on being commissioned. Because today is an opportunity for you to follow through. This is your Rubicon moment. For you, maybe it's just inviting someone to Easter service. Maybe it's, maybe it's starting a daily reading plan and you're going to start today. You're going to have a point of no return. Maybe it's just loving your neighbor. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's choosing to volunteer to serve at Christ Center on our new servant team. But I want to encourage you, follow the procession of Jesus, our humble Savior King, the reigning one, and you'll never be disappointed. You see, if we never surrender, we will eventually succumb. And Jesus knows that. The way of true authority is in laying down your life and giving it to Jesus. So today, can I just pray for all of you as you engage in your Rubicon moments this week? Jesus, thank you so much for my friends, my brothers and sisters, and you, for all those watching today. Lord, I pray a blessing on them today. I pray that they would hear your voice. I pray that you would fill them with your Holy Spirit, that you would let the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit be evident in each of their lives. Lord, I pray for those that are struggling with health issues or struggling with anxiety. I pray peace over them. Lord, I pray healing over them. And I thank you for them. I thank you for your dedicated servants who want to serve you with all they have. Lord, I pray as you speak to them today that you would call them and commission them and challenge them in what you would have them do this week. Lord, as we prepare for Resurrection Sunday, Lord, I pray, God, that we would all have a, a heart to invite people to hear the true hope of the resurrection. Jesus, we love you and we commit our day to you. We ask for your guidance and your presence. And we choose, Jesus, to follow your procession, your lead, always. For it's in your name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. I hope you have an amazing day. Remember Easter, two services, 9 and 11. Also, if you weren't at the team huddle, uh, Christ Center is looking for a full-time worship pastor or worship leader, and we're also looking for a children's director. So if you know of anyone that might be interested in that, I encourage you to go to ChristCenterCashmere.com forward slash career and have them sign up. Blessings to you. Have an incredible day.